What's up, influencers? Welcome to another live stream here on Video Influencers, where we're helping build your influence, income, and impact with online videos. And today, I've got an exciting broadcast for you. We're talking about getting more views here on video, um, on YouTube specifically. And we're talking about, yes, the drama that's been happening with James Charles, Tati Westbrook, and Jeffree Star. Now, you know, I don't usually get into the drama. We don't, we're not like a uh, news report type of channel. We're trying to teach you about how to get views, how to get subscribers, how to build a lifestyle around this amazing platform called YouTube. But I've been low key as Jordan, somebody on our team said, low key, super interested in what's been going on, but not because of the drama or the rumors of the gossip, but because there's a lot of takeaways from what's been happening uh, between the three different influencers and all the drama and all the videos that you guys can walk away from and learn and include into your YouTube video strategy. So we're gonna talk about that right after this. This video is brought to you by vidIQ, the number one Chrome extension for YouTubers looking for on-point data analysis, research resources, and enhanced video creator tools. Start getting more views in less time today by signing up for free at vidIQ.com slash influence. That's vidIQ.com slash influence. Woo! Are you excited? Smash that like button if you are excited for the weekend. If you are crushing it, if you're hustling, if you're working, you know, we had a long week. I just got back from the Philippines dealing with jet lag. You probably are uh, usually taking a break, but maybe not. Maybe the reason you're watching this is because you are serious about your YouTube channel. You want to get some videos up. You want to get some views, get some subscribers. So smash that like button. Let me know what your channel is all about. We're going to dive right into it. But we are talking about this drama. This drama between James Charles mostly and uh, Tati Westbrook. But why is it significant? Between the three, they have legit gotten 170 million views. As if that wasn't enough, we're talking other people uploading videos about them, PewDiePie, uh, H3 uh, podcasts, some other drama channels. I mean, I, I wouldn't be surprised if between everybody that this topic has gotten 200 million views on YouTube alone within the two weeks it was out and way more reach just on the general social media world. It's crazy. And so like I mentioned before, I've been low key interested in everything that's been happening, watching all the videos because there's some major takeaways uh, when it comes to what's been going on with this drama, with the tea that's been spilt uh, by Tati Westbrook. But before that, let's talk about a few things, okay? Because we're gonna, we're gonna be sharing with you some of the things that you want to observe and take away and implement into your strategy to get views but I want to disclose a few things. Number one, before it went viral, drama, drama, drama. So whenever there's some tea being spilled, some drama like that, there were some rumors, gossip, it tends to get more views, right? Let's be real. People love negativity. They're just really curious about what's going on. And even me, I don't usually get into it, but I totally was getting into it. I know some of these people. I, I'm from the beauty community in terms of my wife's experience and past history. So I was like, what the heck is going to happen here? Every time a video uploaded, I was like, okay, I got to dive into this. So drama it, let's be real. It was one of the main reasons why it got the attention. But a lot of people put out uh, tea being spilt type of videos. This was a little bit different and there's a couple other things that we want to consider. But next, subscribers. They all have lots of subscribers. And we got to respect the fact that all three of them, the three that we're going to be covering, especially the two, Tati and James, they have these huge subscriber bases. Tati, before she put out this video, had 5 million subscribers. James Charles, 16 million. Jeffree Star, another 15 or 16 million. So they had audiences that were ready for this. 
but it is significant because they got a lot more views than how many subscribers they got and literally 10 to 30 times the amount of attention that their normal uploads would get. And we're gonna dive into all that, but let's make another disclosure here. Last thing, quality content. So we talk about this all the time. You can't get the views you want. You can't get new subscribers without putting out quality content. Their video looked amazing and sharp. Their audio was crispy. And three, they're all pros. They know how to put out content that, uh, that their viewers wanna watch. Now, I will say this video, these videos are different than their normal uploads because they're rumor and gossip type of videos. But normally they put out video, uh, uh, beauty videos that are crushing, okay? So, whew, that was a lot. But I just wanted to acknowledge those because, of course, uh, what I'm going to be sharing with you guys, um, it, it, it's more than just the, the techniques that I'm going to be saying you can implement into your videos that made these go viral. I, I want you to know that even if you implemented what I'm suggesting, no promise of your videos going viral. But there's a lot we can take away and learn from this, all right? Hit that like button if you were one of those people that low key was into all this drama. Also, I wanna know in the comments below, are you team Tati or are you team James? Me personally, uh, I, I, I don't go one way or the other. I think that it's unfortunate what happened because I think some people got hurt in the process. Actually, on, on all different sides, I don't think Tati really thought this through. I know even on our team, we've got some difference of opinions of, you know, who was right, who was wrong. But, you know, that's, that's what you get with drama. And, you know, Tati, she gained about 5 million subscribers. James lost like 3 million, is quickly gaining them back. But at the end of the day, it was just, there was a lot of uh, 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 lies, I think. There was definitely some uh, not full, 100% true facts going out to the world. So some people got hurt who shouldn't got hurt. So that's what it is. But let me know. Are you on Team Tati, Team James? Let me know. Okay, moving on to what we can learn from this, okay? So if you guys aren't familiar with this, I'm gonna set a little bit of a, a, a stage here. Tati puts out a video about James Charles and some things that she disagreed with him on. He put out a video about a competing brand to her brand, and then she uh, put out some rumors or uh, wanted the whole world to know about things that happened with James. James put out an apology video. It went viral. Uh, James is losing subscribers, Tati's gaining subscribers, and that kind of was the beginning. That was a tea being spilt, and him trying to do some damage control, it didn't really work out in his favor initially, and just the last two weeks have been crazy. So you're going to have to watch all that on your own time, but we're going to be talking about what we can learn from it. So the number one thing I want to acknowledge here is this, long, captivating video. So Here's Tati's initial video by sister. Let me just say something. What a dramatic title by sister. And I don't know, I think that's a term they use in their, their group of friends, but that was the title and it was, it was definitely a dramatic title that had a dramatic uh, video behind it. All right. So a couple things here. 31 million views, I believe in 48 hours. But even if it wasn't uh, in 48 hours, it got a ton of views very quickly. But the reason I believe this did so well, outside of the fact that it was drama and she was spilling some tea, 43 minute long video. I'm telling you, YouTube loves, loves, love, loves long videos that get people to watch a lot of YouTube. Okay, so 43 minutes. Now, if Tati put out this video and it was only four minutes or even 10 minutes, I don't think it would have nearly did as well as it did in terms of like gaining traction because this is triggering the algorithm in a way that YouTube just loves, which is if we can put out a video in front of people's searches or when they get onto the uh, YouTube app or they're going to the desktop uh, website, and people are watching a lot of YouTube. 
even me, I'm not watching beauty videos ever anymore. It used to when I managed Judy's uh, b uh, beauty business. Now we've got a team kind of works with her on that. I don't have to pay attention as much, but I was totally into it. And part of it was like this long video and she spilled so much tea. She was talking about so many different things. And like I said, I don't want to get into it because that's not what this video is about, but there was enough compelling content that kept me interested and probably kept you interested. Let me know in the chat, did it keep you interested? What aspects of her video were interesting to you? But going back to it, 43 minutes, I think that's something to really acknowledge. Some of the things that we can uh, take advantage when it comes to uh, capitalizing on watch time. Number one, make relevant, valuable content. So like that video, you know, that was not a great example of relevant content to what Tati normally does, but that audience just tends to love drama, right? So it did fit with them. But ask yourself, what kind of content do people wanna watch on your channel? This should be obvious and this is the standard, this is basic, uh, this is a, a no-brainer thing, but it's gotta be relevant content. Why I say this is because you can't just like create a long video of randomness. It's gotta be uh, aligned with the people subscribing to you for the reason they're subscribed to you, okay? Next, um, when it comes to uh, taking advantage of watch time, take away the fluff, add engaging filler. So, you know, we talk about shrinking down your videos because you want optimal audience retention. You want people watching as much of the video as possible, but you can add filler that's valuable. So if you are a reporting show or say you're teaching somebody, you can add like filler video that maybe is recapping what you just talked about or put filler video that's going to be talking about what you are going to be talking about. Someone that does this really well is Shane Dawson. You know, his videos are one, two, I don't know if he's got three hour videos, but they're long videos. He's always saying like, man, I, I don't know what to expect when I show up at his house. And he'll say that like three or four times, but he does it in a way that is just so interesting and makes you just wanna watch more and just keeps you locked in. So ask yourself, what type of fluff can you take away, right? The breaks, like maybe there's a long dead spots or the ums and the ands and the, you know, the, the, the things that maybe don't actually enhance your content it actually takes away, take that away, but then add things that enhances what you have talked about, what you're going to talk about, you know, things that make it more interesting, uh, great uh, uh, transitions, whatever it might be. You know, uh, and for vloggers, Casey Neistat does a great job of this. Between like him being in one place and the other place, he has a lot of great filler in terms of uh, visual content that's compelling, that makes you want to watch. And it's cool. It's, it's like cinematic. All right. Uh, going back to this, last thing when it comes to uh, taking advantage of watch time, stretch out the retention. So I apologize for the typo. Stretch out the retention. So once you get a video and you've got great audience retention, so going in your analytics, you want 70% or more, right? Once you get that and you figure out what is the 10% the at the end of the video, the 30% that people don't want, want to watch, and you're deleting that and you're just extending the audience retention. So you're getting it from like maybe at, at the beginning of your uh, YouTube channel uh, career, it's three or four minutes and then you're going to five minutes and then seven minutes and then 10 minutes or eventually like Tati did, 43 minute killer type of video. So the more you can stretch that out and still have uh, engaging content, valuable content that people actually wanna watch, this, this, I'm telling you, will trigger the algorithm more than anything because YouTube loves it when you're watching a ton of YouTube. Which actually brings us to the second thing I wanna talk about, which is the cluster effect. So the cluster effect is, uh, first off, coin, that term is kind of coined by Daryl Eves. So uh, respect to Daryl Eves. I went to his event. Uh, actually, I, I saw my VidCon talk about this, or maybe it was a replay, I forget. But he talks about the cluster effect. And that's where a cluster of videos uh, trigger each other to be viewed, okay? And when it comes to this James Charles drama, it, it was uh, not anything different. So let's look at it. Let's dissect this. First off, Tati comes out with her by sister video, okay? Tons of views in a short amount of time. We, we talk about a, a long video, so YouTube loves it. And then boom, 
James Charles has a response video. He's crying, he's sobbing, he's dramatic. He's apologizing to Tati, uh, which, you know, wh whoever you are, whoever's team you're supporting uh, was uh, good or bad, whatever. I thought that it was uh, very good of him to do that and uh, respond quickly so it doesn't uh, leave it up to the audience. But then what happens? It creates a cluster effect. So you can even do this with two videos, but People are watching Tati's videos, then they're watching James' videos. Or say they are subscribed to James, then they watch James' video, and then they go to Tati's uh, video. So that back and forth, that's kind of like the start of the cluster effect. But it didn't stop there. Okay. Next, Tati puts out another video where she's explaining why she want why she wanted to put out that video because she was getting a lot of lashback for her kind of attacking or um, uh, uh, throwing him under the bus, which again, you know, you be the judge if it was right or wrong, but it is what it is. So it created another cluster effect, not just between her videos, but between her video and James's apology video and her original video and the circle of the cluster effect. It was crazy, all right? But it did stop there. Then, then, James Charles with his clap back video. I mean, he just, he just, he just went on a vengeance with it in a very classy way, I would say, uh, James. Uh, good job. Good for you that you put that video out. Um, but uh, that video, again, enhanced the cluster effect because his video got tons of views. Like, I, I don't know what it's at right now, but I think his video, let me look. What is that? I think it's his video is like at 55 million views. So again, it enhanced further the cluster effect. And then as if that wasn't enough, Jeffree Star gets into this. Jeffree Star is another beauty person who has maybe talked about in some of these rumors or his uh, social media post kind of like threw him uh, more under the bus. But dang, all those put together created the ultimate cluster effect that YouTube loves. And remember what we mentioned before about watch time? Well, the cluster effect creates this mega amount of watch time. Now, this was between many different channels, different videos, but that collection of videos created probably hour after hour of view time, of minutes watched on YouTube, which YouTube loved. So what happens is, if you're a subscriber of Jeffree Star and he puts out a video like this, you're curious about the other video. And it's, if uh, Jeffree Star didn't mention it, YouTube's already gonna put those videos around his video and suggest the videos, or maybe when you go back, you'll watch Tati's videos, and vice versa, right? When uh, James Charles puts out his clapback video, it's just crazy. That cluster effect is so powerful and you can take advantage of it. Now, I hope you guys aren't thinking about putting out a, a rumor video or gossip video. That is not what I'm suggesting. But what can we take away from it? This is what we can learn from this. Create your own cluster. So, same channel, similar topic videos. So one thing you can do is if you are a channel, and we always talk about gardening because I love gardening, but say you're gonna put out a tomato uh, video about how to grow the best tomatoes. Maybe make it a three to four video series and put it out all at once, like maybe in one week or like as soon one after the other. You can create this cluster effect within your own videos because YouTube knows that if somebody likes your video, that you're more likely to watch another one of your videos that's on a similar topic than trying to suggest maybe somebody else's videos. But don't get me wrong, if somebody else's videos work, they will suggest theirs. But can you create a cluster of videos that are similar to each other that'll make people wanna watch one after the other? Next, you can actually collab with other channels who have a similar audience that, that are around the same topic. So. I don't think that James, Tati, and Jeffrey actually planned this out. Like some people, there's like rumors or a conspiracy that they did. I don't think that was the case. But can you can you plan it out with other channels? So if you want to collaborate with other channels, what you do is plan out similar topic videos 
um, with other channels who have a similar audience and put it out in sequence or on the same day. So when I first got into YouTube, you know, I didn't just look for other YouTube channels to collaborate with that were way bigger. I looked for channels that had a similar audience. It didn't matter how big their audience was. So there was another channel called Byron Talbot. He was a cooking channel and we did a cookie video where uh, it was almost a challenge where he made his best cookie recipe. I made my best cookie recipe, but we uploaded it literally within like a day of each other or maybe on the same day. So what happened was there was this mini cluster. People were watching my, my video that are subscribed to me. Then I said, hey, go jump to Byron's video. Then they watched his videos and vice versa. If you can do this with more and more channels, the better, because again, it creates a cluster effect similar to what happened with this tea being spilt. You guys, hit like if this is valuable. If this is stuff that you're like, you didn't even think about when you're watching these things and leave in the comments um, how you're going to implement some of these strategies that I'm talking about. All right, the third thing when it comes to creating your own cluster that I wanna talk about, follow up breakaway hits. hits as soon as possible. So what this means is when you have a video that really takes off, maybe you weren't planning it to be part of a cluster, but like you, you just randomly put up a video like you normally do and then boom, it kind of goes viral for you. So what does viral mean for you? It doesn't have to mean millions of views. Maybe you get like a thousand views per upload, excuse me, on average, but this one got like 10,000 in one day follow up that upload with a similar video that complements that. So for example, if you're a tech review channel and you're reviewing the Apple AirPods and you put up that video because you're just doing an unboxing or reviewing and then it blows up, put up a secondary video right away about like all the useful uh, tips when it comes to AirPods and put that up, make a, uh, a suggested video card or the clickable card at the end of your videos going to that video or promote it, create that cluster within those two videos. But the key here is to follow it up right away. So this means you might have to take some time out, maybe put some, postpone some other things on your schedule to create this video. The quicker you can do that, the better. I've seen a lot of channels actually blow up when they take advantage of this. So the cluster effect, all right? Similar, uh, same channel, similar topic videos, collaborate with other channels who have similar audiences on the same topic, plan that out, publish around the same time, follow up a breakaway hit as soon as possible. Don't just make one video, maybe make a couple different videos. All right, the next thing I wanna talk about is my book. That's right, YouTube Secrets is out on audiobook. Go ahead and get that at the link below. Boom. YouTube Secrets, you guys. We, not only did we write this for you guys, the influencers of this community, to help you guys grow your uh, audiences, make money, but become a video influencers. We now have it on audiobook. It is actually crushing right now, so thank you to everybody who's gotten it. Just go to Amazon, go to Audible. You can get it right away, and please leave us an uh, Amazon review. We love that feedback from you guys. All right, moving on. Third thing we can learn is timing. So one thing I want to talk about when it comes to timing is, uh, so Tati puts out this video, right? Her 43 minute tea spilling video about the rumors, the drama, all that kind of stuff. And literally the day after James Charles puts out his video, okay? So that timing is key. Then literally a few days afterwards, I believe, maybe like four days afterwards, Tati puts out her why I did it video, right? And then after that, like a few days after that, James Charles puts out his clapback video uh, on his channel, right? And then Jeffree Star. So within two weeks, they put out all these videos and that timing is key to creating that viralness. Now, I can't promise you're gonna go viral like them, but timing is gonna be key to take advantage of when you're having the most momentum. See, when your video or videos are having that momentum, you really wanna capitalize on it. So timing is key. So let's uh, break that down. So number one, plan and pump out the videos. So plan out this cluster effect, right? Uh, create a whole bunch of videos. And we talk about uploading one video a week, well, maybe you're gonna upload three videos this week because this is part of your plan to create this cluster effect for your videos to be recommended to one 
on the other. We'll do this. Actually, when Sean and I get together and we create a whole bunch of videos and we're batch producing, sometimes we'll put out two or three videos one after the other. Sometimes one uh, right after the other. We're like one, like on Monday, we'll upload one and then a second one on Tuesday, right? So whatever works for you. Maybe you test it out and see if you can put all three up uh, on, on one day. Maybe it's all relevant to each other, okay? So whatever that means for you. Next, time the collaborations and the publishing of those collabs. So just like you're planning out your own videos, reach out to other YouTubers, reach out to channels who have similar audiences where you can collaborate on a similar topic or similar type of content and then plan out the publishing. So uh, Byron and I, we publish literally one after the other, right? I think his went up and then mine went up like 24 hours or vice versa. Maybe you guys put it all um, at the same time and all are recommending each other. Whatever you do, the planning of it and the timing of the publishing is key. Lastly, we talked about the, uh, uh, the breakout videos, quick follow-up. So I know that I've seen Sean do this on his Think Media uh, channel where he'll put out a video and it's a breakaway hit. He wasn't planning on putting out a follow-up video, but because it's getting this momentum and he's using vidIQ, by the way, thank you to our sponsors, vidIQ. This is one of the ways you can uh, time this correctly. vidIQ will tell you when uh, velocities per hour, when a video has that velocity, when it has that momentum. When you see that, you want to act quickly and that's what sean has done in the past he'll do a follow-up video he uh, rides that wave and i've seen other channels do this and have a lot of success so quick follow-up is key boom timing is key um and uh there you go Whew, that was a lot so anyways i just wanted to give some shout outs to some people on here uh to say hi jessica may what's going on mag happy learning uh uh, Jerry Plays, Jody State, um, Marquita83. Let me know where you guys are watching from. And Chris, is the doc ready for some questions? I got some super chats. You got some super chats. Okay, let me know what are the super chats um, that we've got going on. All righty. So from Mr. Big Kid. Mr. Big Kid. Okay. On a small scale, I utilize my barbecue video hit and use the cluster method. Drastic change to subs. Is a little tough being a gun in barbecue channel. That's from Mr. Big Kid. Okay, thank you, Mr. Big Kid, for the super chat. Um, is is any of these on the doc, Chris? Uh, no, I just I, I just got these right now. Okay, cool. So let, just qu quickly spout yeah. off their names. Then, of uh, Auric Unity, uh, great book and great info as always. Enjoying the value of the live stream. Awesome, awesome. Well, thank you guys so much for your super chats and supporting this channel. Give a thumbs up. Uh, leave a comment below if this has been helpful, what your channel is about and how you'll implement some of these strategies that I'm suggesting to you to capitalize on what we've learned from the James Charles uh, drama. Also, make sure you guys uh, stay tuned for the Q&A. We're going to try to go live right after this. And again, Go to Amazon, go to Audible, get YouTube Secrets on audiobook. It really will be a huge help for you on your journey of YouTube, especially if you're a beginner, right? You know, the thing is, nothing's going to replace hard work. Nothing is going to uh, make it easier for you in terms of your specific type of niche content, your audience you're trying to reach out to, but maybe, maybe, and most likely, YouTube Secrets will help you skip a few steps, right? Learn from our mistakes or learn from the successes of other influencers. We've interviewed 100 plus people on this channel, Video Influencers, um, as you know if you've watched uh, our uploads for a while. And their stories are in here, how they grew, how they became successful. So pick it up on Amazon, uh, pick it up on Audible. We appreciate all your support. But uh, there you go. So James Charles. Jeffree Star, uh, Tati, Tati Westbrook, they had a lot of drama. They put out all these videos, they got a lot of uh, views, and they went viral. 
what did we learn from it? Well, number one, watch time is key. That long video in the beginning, in fact, she has recently deleted that video and I believe the momentum of all the other videos have slowed down. So don't discount a long video if you can make it compelling, right? Secondly, the cluster effect the effect of other channels uh, with similar audiences, similar types of content supporting one another. other. Let me know in the comments if you were one of those people like me who literally was waiting to see what was gonna happen next. Or maybe you came in uh, midway through and you started watching one person's video and then you were curious about the other ones. That is called the cluster effect. It is so powerful and you can mimic that in your own channels with other collaborations to create uh, your own cluster. Third, timing is key. So don't create this cluster effect over the course of three months. Create it over the course of three days, maybe even three hours, whatever that might be for you. All right, you guys, this is Video Influencers. We're helping you build your influence, income, and impact with online videos. You guys, make sure you sh follow us on social media at Video Influencers, no S on Twitter. Uh, go to videoinfluencers.com for more information about the book. And remember, we are here for you. YouTube is amazing. We've been doing this for over 10 years, and our passion is to help you have success on this platform. So hustle, don't quit, and keep uploading videos. I'll talk to you later, and stay tuned for the Q&A, which will be coming about five minutes after this.